You've been credited with shaping the modern concept of risk intelligence. Um, when did you first focus on this concept? When did it first hit you, this is the way we should kind of look at things? It's a direct outgrowth of what we just discussed, where um, everybody understood the importance of managing risk and thinking about it, but that scientific discipline was so disconnected from the way that senior executives and leaders thought about the business and thought about economics and finance. And there was an additional angle where the way risk management evolved, it became almost a policing function, something that you perceive that is impeding your objectives and impeding progress. So you needed to reposition it. And the way you would think about it is you look to other corporate disciplines that became really, really useful. So competitive intelligence, business intelligence, political intelligence, all of these disciplines that I specifically use to understand the environment and make better decisions. So risk intelligence was an attempt to take risk management at all of the sophistication and experience that it offered and reposition it into something that is no longer perceived as being defensive and backward looking and policing and more strategic and decision oriented. Um, and that definition really became popular since then in repositioning that, that field to be practically useful to, to executives.